Question two. Four children are chosen at random from eight boys and eight girls. What is the probability of getting at most three boys? So if you have a probability question and you hear the phrase at most or at least, then you want to try and use this method of finding the failure first, the probability of the failure, and then subtracting that from one. So let's have a look at the method. So the experiment is to choose four from 16 children. So eight plus eight gives us 16 children in total and we want to choose four of them. So we're going to do 16 choose four. So N is equal to the number of elements in the sample space or the cardinal number of elements in the sample space S, which is 16 choose four, which is 1820. So this is our total or our denominator when we put our fraction together for probability. So success would be getting at most three boys. So the question said, what is the probability of getting at most three boys? So remember, you're choosing four children altogether. So of getting at most three boys, your options are zero boys, one boy, two boys or three boys. Now, this would take a long time to work out. And in the next slide, I will show you how to work it out, but it will take a long time. So if this is the success, then a much quicker method is to work out the failure, the probability of the failure, and to take that away from one. Because the success and the failure of any experiment will always add up to one. So the opposite of the success is going to be the failure. So the opposite of getting at most three boys is getting no boys, which is the same thing as, so i.e. that is getting four girls. So you're choosing four children, out of eight boys and eight girls. So you're choosing four children out of 16 children. And if you want to work out the probability of getting no boys, then that must mean you get all girls. And if you're choosing four, then that means you're getting four girls. So we're going to work out the probability of choosing four girls. And then we're going to take that away from one because we're actually working out the opposite of the question. The question is asking us to find at most three boys, but instead we're gonna figure out the probability of finding no boys, which is the opposite of that, which is the failure. So the probability of getting four girls, what we need to do is eight choose four. So remember there are eight girls to choose from. I know there's 16 children altogether, but only eight of them are girls. So it's gonna be eight choose four. So or will be eight choose four, which is 70. So this is getting four girls. This is the event of choosing four girls. So the probability of failure is going to be 70 divided by 1820, which simpl simplifies to one over 26. So now we're going to take this away from one to get the success. So the probability of success is equal to one minus the probability of failure which is one minus one over 26, which is 25 over 26. So if we're choosing four children from eight boys and eight girls, the probability of getting at most three boys is 25 over 26. So this was the shorter method to use. This is the success and failure method. In the next slide, I'm gonna show you the exact same question. We're not going to bother with this success or failure method. We're just going to work out the probability of getting zero boys or one boy or two boys or three boys. So as you can probably imagine, it's going to be much longer than what we've done here. So it starts off the same. We're choosing four from 16 children. That hasn't changed. So n is equal to the number of elements in the sample space, which is 16 choose four, which is 1820. So we're only focusing on the success now. We're only focusing on getting the probability of at most three boys. We're not gonna bother with the failure part. So getting at most three boys, if you're choosing four children, that means getting zero boys or one or two or three boys. So let's have a look at what this would look like. So first of all, in words, this would be zero boys and four girls or one boy and three girls or two boys and two girls, or three boys and one girl. 
So zero boys, remember there's eight boys all together, is going to be eight choose zero. And means multiply. Four girls, remember there's eight girls all together, so it's going to be eight choose four. Or means add. One boy is going to be eight choose one. And means multiply. Three girls will be eight choose three. Or means add. Two boys will be eight choose two. And means multiply. Two girls will be eight choose two. Or means add. Three boys will be eight choose three. And means multiply. And one girl will be eight choose one. So 8 choose 0 is 1, multiplied by 8 choose 4 is 70, plus 8 choose 1 is 8, multiplied by 8 choose 3 is 56, plus 8 choose 2 is 28, multiplied by 8 choose 2 is 28, plus 8 choose 3 is 56, multiplied by 8 choose 1 is 8, which gives us a total of 1750. So that's going to be 1,750 over the total, which is 1,820, which again gives us 25 over 26. So we get the same answer, but a much longer method.